Hi children, welcome to EduCup. Today we are going to discuss the second part of 10th lesson in grade 8. So today we are going to discuss about simple electric circuits. Let's move. First one is electric torch. Electric torch is an essential equipment when we are going in dark at night and when we are in search of something in dark. There are electric torch which only one dry cell or with several dry cells connected in series. Here you can see the parts of an electric torch. Reflector, bulb, plastic cover, connecting connectors, switch, metal spring, dry cells are there. Here you can see the dry cells are connected in series way. Dry cells, bulb, metal spring and connecting connectors of the switch are connected with each other. But the circuit is open because of the switch. Therefore the bulb does not light. When a switch is pushed forward, the gap between the connecting connectors is closed and the bulb will lit. Next type is light decorations. You may have seen that light decoration are used to decorate various occasions at night. Here you have to make a light decorating circuit. Here you will need power supply, six colors LED in red, blue and green, connecting wires and copper strips. First of all, you have to draw a diagram for the circuit which you are going to set up. Indicate where the switches should be connected to light blue LEDs. Only red LEDs, only green LEDs and both blue and green LEDs at the same time. Make the circuit on the board. Take all switches to one place of the board. Supply power to the circuit. By opening and closing the switches, try to build up a simple panel. So, our next up topic is current controlling components. On various occasions, it is necessary to control the amount of current flowing through the, an electric circuit. There are several components that can be used for this purpose. We use those components according to the situation. Let's consider how some such components can be used. First one is switches or keys. Switches or keys are used to turn on or turn off an electric current flow through a circuit when necessary. There are various types of keys. Some simple keys are mentioned in these diagrams. Okay, now you have to study about those simple keys. Let's move. First one is tap key. Here you can see the tap key in this figure. Observe the diagram carefully. Here P and Q are the terminals connected to the circuit. When the B end of the metal strip is pressed with your finger, X and Y ends connect each other. Then the circuit between P and Q is completed. When the finger release B end of the AB metal strip lift up as the spring. Circuit is disconnected. This is called one-way tap key because it is used to let the current to flow one direction. Next one is plug key. You can see a plug key in this diagram. P and Q are the terminals connected to the circuit. There is a gap between the metal blocks made of brass. When the plug rod is inserted into the hole between the gap, the circuit is closed. When the plug rod is removed, circuit is disconnected. Okay, next. 
circuit is permanent resistors. Obstacle to flow an electric current through a conductor is called the resistance. Components that have the property of resistance are known as resistors. Copper wire are used to connect circuits because their resistance is very low. Resistance of wires made by the nichrome and magnanine is very high. Therefore, wires made of metals like nichrome and magnanine are used to make resistors. There are resistors made to certain fixed values in the laboratory. They are known as fixed resistors. You can see several types of fixed resistors here. Every electric component has an exact resistance value. Therefore, they also can be considered as the permanent resistors. You have to do activity under permanent resistors. You will need a permanent resistor of 2 ohm, permanent resistor of 5 ohm, filament bulb of 2.5 volt, two dry cells, and ammeter or milliammeter switch connecting wires. First of all, you have to connect the bulb, switch, ammeter or milliammeter and dry cells as shown in the figure. Close the switch and record the ammeter reading. Observe the brightness of the bulb also. Next, connect the extra fixed resistor to ohm to this circuit. Close the switch, observe the brightness of the bulb and record the ammeter reading. Open the switch of the circuit and replace the fixed resistor of 5 ohm, 5 ohm instead of 2 ohm resistor. Close the switch again. Then observe the brightness of the bulb and record the ammeter reading. When an extra resistor is connected to an electric circuit, electric current flowing through the circuit is reduced. When the resistance of the circuit increased further current flowing decreases therefore it is clear that the current flowing through the circuit can be reduced by connecting fixed resistors to the increase of resistance variable resistors here you can see a variable resistor you have learned fixed resistors has a definite resistance there are resistors made by connecting several resistors to vary the current flowing through a circuit. They are called variable resistors. You have to do activity by using variable resistor. You will need a filament bulb to dry cells, switch, millimeter, variable resistor and connecting wire. Here, Connect the bulb, switch, dry cells, millimeter, and the variable resistor as like this. Turn the adjustable key of the variable resistor to maximize the value. Here you can see the adjustable key in variable resistor. The black color one is that one. Close the switch and let the current flow to the circuit. Observe the brightness of the bulb and record the millimeter reading. Shift the adjustable key of the variable resistor to decrease in resistance value. Observe how the brightness of the bulb and the millimeter reading changes. According to the observation in this practical, current flowing to the circuit decreases when the resistance is increased. Rheostat a rheostat is a variable resistor in which the current with the necessary value can be obtained. A rheostat is connected to the circuit by the terminals A and C or B and C. Necessary value of resistance can be adjusted by moving the slider. Look at the parts of the rheostat. There's a slider, terminals, nichrome coil. Are there? You have to do an activity by using the rheostat. Here you will need rheostat filament bulb to dry cells, switch, ammeter, or milliammeter, or connect. Connect the bulb, rheostat, switch, milliammeter, and the cells and construct the circuit. 
close the switch, the bulb lights the millimeter shows the reading relevant to the current flow. Then shift, shift the slider of the rheostat to and fro. You can observe the change of the brightness of the bulb and the millimeter reading. Shift the slider of the rheostat to read the values of the current you selected in millimeter. According to this activity, it is clear that current flowing through the circuit can be changed to our requirement using a rheostat. Next type is light dependent resistor. There are resistors that change their resistance when instancy of light falling on them changes. Such resistors are known as light dependent resistors, LDR. Here you have to do an activity by using LDR, light dependent resistor. You will need a light dependent resistor, filament bulb millimeter, two dry cells, switch and electric torch. Construct the circuit connecting bulb millimeter, light dependent resistor, switch and dry cells like this. First cover the light dependent resistor so that no light falls on it. Record the observation. Then move the car. Move the cover and let light the environmental falls on the light dependent resistor. Record your observation. Then light the electric torch and direct its light on the light dependent resistor. Record the observation. Here, when light falls on a light dependent resistor, its resistance decreases. Therefore, current flowing through the circuit increases. When the intensity, intensity of light falling increases, the resistance decreases. Therefore, current flowing to the current increases further. The light dependent resistor can be used to control the electric current flowing through a circuit. Next one, soldering tools. When electricity is supplied to the tool, the tip of this tool gets heated. So the melted soldering 